Hi folks, my name is Moss for Logmaker360 and with this video I start a new playlist about the basic of Arduino. Uh, I'm going to make a series of videos in which I will explain the fundamental part of programming an Arduino. Uh, the Arduino is a very handy, powerful tool, but uh, to learn to work with this tool you need to know a lot of things, like uh, the software side, the Arduino itself, with all its uh, different uh, features, like the uh, GPIO pins, and all kinds of uh, built-in protocols. And you need to be aware of uh, incoming sensor values, and uh, translate those values in uh, human readable values. So in the first videos, I like to start with uh, the uh, software side, because if you understand what is going on in inside the software, then it's easier to pick up the uh, sensor side. And to explain what is going on inside the code, I use uh, this Arduino simulation software. It's called uh, Uno Ardi Sim, and I will put a link to this software inside uh, the description of this video. It's uh, only available for Windows, but I like to use it because you can see what is going on all the time. For example, we have a LED over here, and it's connected to pin number 8. And you see over here, pin number 8 is set to 0, so there's no power on there. And if I click here, then I set the power high. It turns from 0 to 1. So if we run the code on this side, we directly see the result. So for our first program, I set up uh, pin number 8. The first time you start up your Arduino, it is going inside the, the setup. And then it does every task which is inside the uh, setup. Uh, see it this way, like if you build a house, you could go to the store and you buy bricks and nails and wood and all kinds of materials, but you only do that one time. You not uh, start building and if you lay one brick, you go back to the store to buy another brick. So inside the setup, we prepare the program and inside the loop we are doing the task so here we are laying the bricks in this case we put a pin high and then we delay for a second and then we set it low and then we delay for another second and then we the first loop is finished and then we jump back and do it again so the setup is done only once and the loop is the real task of the program and we do it all the time over and over again. That's the power of the uh, microcontroller. And the first thing you need to know is that you only can put four kind of actions inside a program. Sequence, iteration, and that works with loops. Selections, like uh, if statements, and interrupts. And the uh, uh, sequence is very easy. It uh, basically starts at the top and jumps to the next line. And if you see over here, the LED is black, is off, and it's a red LED. And if I jump to the next line by clicking on this yellow arrow, and it turns the pin high, and if I go to the next line, and you see the pin is high and the LED is on for one second. But because I'm in the simulation software, I'm controlling, and then it jumps to the next line and sets the pin low, and then it executes it, and you see the pin is off. And the LED is off as well. And that is a uh, sequence. So from top to the next line. It does this line of code, and then it does this one, the other one, 
this one. That's uh, the sequence. Uh, in the next video, we will take a look to uh, selection. But this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Have a look on my YouTube channel and please subscribe and see you in the next video.